Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shifu here and today we are talking about the new referral policy of American Express. Now this has already been online for about a week or so, I first heard about it about a week ago um, but obviously we had uh, you know a lot of videos out about the new gold card over the past few days so I didn't do it uh, until now. So basically uh, what is happening at American Express is for a long time. If you have a certain American Express card you've been able to get a referral link for that card and then give it to your friends or you know send it to them in an email post it on Facebook whatever and have people sign up for it and you get rewarded uh, normally it's with points so for example for the Amex Platinum if you refer someone to the Amex Platinum you get 15,000 points uh, for the Hilton Ascend card uh, you get 20,000 Hilton points for a referral and often with these referrals the sign up bonus is a bit better than the public offer now what American Express has done now is that if you uh, send someone a link for the Hilton Ascend card, for example, uh, they can then click the um, see all cards with referral offer option uh, right here, and it'll actually open up the whole series of Hilton cards. So you, uh, you refer them for one card, they can actually choose a different one, uh, you know, perhaps you refer them for the Ascend, but then they decide they want the Aspire. Uh, and all three cards actually in the series show up with sign up bonuses better than the public offers. Uh, and also, if they want the business version, they can even click on this little option for a business card and they can apply for the business Hilton card as well. So, at a minimum, Amex is now uh, letting you sign up someone for any card in the series of cards that you have. But, uh, for the Amex Platinum, uh, and perhaps the also the Amex Everyday card, it seems to be a little bit different. So for the cards that are earning membership rewards, at least this is what we know so far. So um, when I opened up Mrs. Credit Shifu's account, who has the Amex Platinum, she also has the Amex Everyday, um, the options are far greater, okay? Um, it seems that you can sign people up not just for uh, cards in that series, so the membership rewards earning cards, like the Amex Charge cards or the Everyday uh, credit card, but also, there were cards there that she doesn't have any connection to, like the Delta Airlines cards. Um, she was able to refer people to those as well. And I counted 17 different personal cards and 12 business cards um, she was able to refer people to using the Amex Platinum's link. So it is a pretty interesting and a pretty good way of getting extra points. Now, in most cases, it does seem to be limited to four per year, though. So, for example, with the Amex Platinum, 15,000 points a time, but it's limited to 55,000 points, which is just under four. I don't know why they cap capped it at 55,000. It should be 60,000, because that's exactly four times. But anyway, whatever. Um, but anyway, so it's limited to four times a year. The Hilton Ascend card, for example, you get rewarded 20,000 points a time, up to 80,000 points a year. Um, and... Yeah, that's basically it. Now, if you post these links uh, on social media, do just be careful to make it known that it is a referral link that you do get rewarded for it. That's written in Amex's terms and conditions. I'm not sure how big of a deal that's gonna be for a lot of people, but I'll just tell you about my experience with Amex referrals. Um, so I referred quite a few people for the SPG card uh, by posting a referral link in the description of our SPG uh, Amex card review video uh, last year or two years ago. Um, and, you know, well, the video was uploaded two years ago, but we got the referrals over the course of like last year, I think. Um, and basically they didn't give me the points immediately. They sent me a letter saying that they delayed issuing the points because they were conducting an investigation to make sure that this uh, referral was genuine or something like that. Um, I'm guessing maybe they were just, uh, you know, looking at the source of the link, looking at the link on YouTube, making sure I'd written that it was a referral link and I'm getting rewarded for it, perhaps. Um, I don't know, they just said they were conducting an investigation. Uh, but anyway, I got the points in the end. So I got 60,000 of the new um, Starwood slash Marriott points. So originally it was 20,000 awarded to me, but now I think it's, uh, you know, it's been converted into 60,000. So I got 60,000 points in my account, all from referrals. So it is a really good way of, one, uh, getting some extra points for yourself, uh, but also getting your friends the best sign-up bonuses. So those Hilton, you know, Aspire and Ascend card, if you want the 150,000 point sign-up bonus, 
Um, you could ask a friend who has it for a referral, or if your friend wants it, you can give them your referral. And of course, we also saw the 50,000 point sign up bonus on the new Amex Gold card uh, through referral links only, rather than, um, you know, if you go to the public link, you just get the 25,000 point offer, like I did. But I more than made up for it through uh, referring people to the card. I think I've already earned 55,000 uh, points. So, total of 80,000 points <laughs> that we got through 25,000 point sign up bonus plus all the referrals we did. So, we've more than made up for the lost. Uh, 25,000 points that I uh, missed out on because of my own stupidity. Anyway guys, so that option is available to you. Um, if you have any form of Amex credit card or charge card, uh, do go and check out your account. Uh, the referral link should be here right in the middle. You can click in there uh, and then copy your link and then open that in a new browser and just have a look around and see what cards you have referrals for. Uh, if you have one of the membership rewards earning cards, I believe the options should be greater. If you have one of the co-branded cards, it probably is just within that series of cards. All right, guys, that's all for today. We will put links to some of our favorite travel credit cards in the description below. So if you are in the market for a new travel credit card, and you want to help out the show, this is a referral link, just like what we talked about. Um, so if you do want to help us out and you're getting a new card anyway, do consider going through one of our links. We would very much appreciate it. As always, guys, do subscribe for more credit card tips and tricks almost every day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.